Today, I am at Blyton Park Raceway to meet some proper motorbikers. Now, we all think that we can ride bikes, okay? But let me tell you, this bloke can ride bikes. Whoa, what a nut job I'm having him. So this week I've come down to Brighton Race Park to meet Jimmy Buchanan, who's a bit of a nut job, and race this stuff like this. So, so a short, quick story behind it. We, me and Jake joined the British Mini Bike Championship last year. Nellis was already there riding. The two boys hit it off on track. They ride in sync together. We decided to bring the lads on a bit further and give them a chance on the big bike racing. So this is their first real test really today. Um, they've already been out. They're flying around. To be fair, the bikes probably don't go quick enough for these boys. Um, but yeah, no, the, the story behind the Zip Top Racing, um, Nellis and his dad um, family have had this team name for years. They've always wanted to do it. And when me and Jake joined them and said, let's, let's do it, let's go big bike racing, we automatically took the name and we, we've brought it to life, basically. So, but the plan is, me and, me and Barry, Nellis' dad, uh, want to bring youngsters through that don't have the funding or the parents to push them through to the next stage. Yeah, so basically um, they're running in the Kawasaki Team Green Championship. Nellis is 12, so he's in the pre-teens in the same race, and Jake's in the juniors. There's also a senior race in there as well, so there's three championships in one race. So the lads will progress on. Um, that's why we want to bring 400 cc's in next year, because they can still race in the same race. So eventually we'll have four riders in the same championship. We're looking for sponsorship really. This year it's all out of our own pocket um, just to get the boys some presents, try and pick up a profile, get them some results and hopefully we'll get some sponsorship next year. Well, it was when I was doing my ACU last week and I did have a bit of a shock going down the big streets, but I'll get used to it, I guess. I, I think we've definitely got up to 100 miles per hour on it, but it's not much difference on the pit box, I don't think, because it's just got the same slowing down in the corners and everything. Just got to carry more speed. It's not too much difference, to be fair. The main thing we're offering, it's not about having the logos and things on the bike. Yes, it looks nice, but it doesn't really do anything for the business. More the fact that the boys are racing in a British national championship. There are all the big tracks, Donington, Brands Hatch, Alton Park, Snetterton. There's a chance for potential sponsors to bring custom, custom, uh, customers and clientele to the track. So have an out day, treat their own customers. Come on, we're gonna take you to the racing for the weekend. We'll supply VIP tickets. Because of the lads are in a certain championship, they automatically get into the garages. So we'll supply pit passes and they can bring their clientele and have a day out, a corporate day basically, and bring them and meet the team, spend the day in the pits with us, basically just get a feel for racing life really, because the next step up for these boys is British Superbikes. So we're, we're, we're there, we're on the way you see. <laughs> There's no place to 
Okay, so the reason for being here today is to meet this fella. This is Jimmy Buchanan. What is it you do, mate? This is a bit of a clue, but... Uh, yeah, so I race Ducati Troy Options. Um, obviously, because of the lockdown, uh, there's no road races at the moment because I race uh, the Isle of Man, Manx GP, 7100, um, stuff like that. So that's where I really like to be. But obviously, lockdown, gone BSB for Ducati Troy Options and... Um, and then yeah, run the track days uh, here at Blyton. Um, so we run small small groups. So we only run like 18 to 20 in a group um, because obviously with the racing, I've been racing like 10 years, and I, you do track days not for fun but for testing to set up the bike and stuff like that. Um, and it's you can't do it when the group's absolutely packed. There's like incidents, red flags, stoppages, stuff like that. So. I started Loose Cannon Track Days to run a track day the way I wanted. So small groups, loads of space, as much track time as possible. Um, yeah, so that was it. So is this to complement your racing? Uh, it, you're not a full-time racer, are you? No, uh, well, no, I'm not like a paid racer <laughs> or anything. Uh, I am sponsored. I'm very, very grateful to be sponsored. I wouldn't be able to do it otherwise. Um, but yeah, we've got eight rounds a season, as I say, normally I try and do. And that's across the country, presumably? That's across the country, yeah. yeah. So your sponsorship covers your travel accommodation? So, yeah, essentially uh, my sponsors kind of give me like a lump of money and then I prioritise race entries, um, testing, uh, fuel and tyres, and then try and sort everything else out myself if, uh, if it runs over, which it always does. Honestly, you could win the lottery and still be skint, like, <laughs> you know. For racing. So do they take a cut of any winnings or is it simply a sponsorship to be on the track? No, to be honest, all my sponsors are absolutely incredible. Um, the MGS are, are brand new uh, for this season and they've done the paintwork, the graphics, they're doing the team wear, the pit walling, stuff like that. And literally for his sponsorship, he just wants to come along. Um, so he's, he's a true motorcycle fan. Um, G-Tech Performance, uh, my local Ducati, um, because I'm banned from working on my own bikes. I'm not very good at mechanics. <laughs> I tend to, uh, yeah, throw my toys out the pram and hit it. I guess this is the thing though, like, I mean, we all sit there in the kind of our armchair and watch Formula One, British Superbikes, MotoGP. We don't really think about everything off track, do we? Like, you are saying there about you don't do your own mechanics. Mm. Those guys have got big teams to look yeah, after yeah, them. Yeah. Who have you got on the track and who keeps you on the track? Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly it, you know. Uh, especially in the BSB paddock, um, you've got one end to the scale to the other. You've got people showing up in their lorries that unfold and they've got free bikes and laptops and stuff. And you've got me out of the back of my van. Uh, with <laughs> Do they treat you like weirdly or they... No, absolutely fine. Well, I've raced with John McGuinness quite a few times, as I say, doing the road racing. And then he did try options with us last year. And he's absolutely cracky. He's honestly, you know, when people worry about meeting their heroes, he's not. He's uh, such a nice guy because uh, I take, take the piss out of him every time I see him. And he's absolutely fine with it. So you've shared the track with him as well, racing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Have were... you beaten him yet? Oh, no. No, God, no. <laughs> no um, but try options is really, really fast. It's a lot faster than people think because um, John McGuinness was struggling to get into the top 10. Um, and if he's struggling, you know it's quick. At the beginning of the season, we had like, I was on pace with him for testing, but no, I, I, was, I was excited if I'm top 20, if I'm honest. So how difficult is it to remain in British bikes then? If the cost is that big and it's hard to, to, you know, to get in the top of the field, yeah, it must be a, a real challenge. It's getting harder and it's getting faster and faster. Uh, Ducati Troy Options as a series is getting faster and faster because it started off as, um, is like a clubman's race in the BSB paddock. But now it's gone, right, you've got to be within 110% of the um, uh, pole qualifier, um, which is difficult because that's getting faster and faster each year. And is it the same in Formula One? You don't get to make the grid if you're not in that time? Yeah, if you, if you don't qualify, that's it, you don't qualify. Um, it doesn't matter that you've paid. If you haven't qualified, you have to walk away. Um, and it is, it is difficult, it's, it is, it's getting faster. And now we're uh, going alongside World Superbikes in July for Donington. Um, I think they're, it's just going from strength to strength, to be honest. Uh, as I said, the main expense isn't actually the race entries, it's the tyres. Yeah. So 
Um, so what will you get, like the tyres you've got on, what you get lap-wise out of these, do you reckon? I'll, I'll get 10 laps. 10 laps, is that it? Yeah. And how I'll, much uh, outlay? At Silverstone, I can kill, uh, at Silverstone last year, I killed a rear in seven laps. Um, most tracks, if you're on, on pace, it's about 10, 12 laps. And what's kind of the outlay price-wise you talking oh, about? Oh, uh, it's about 380 quid for a set. Um, so I'll do, I'll do around a, a grand in a weekend. Wow. That's just the tyres? Yeah, like the t when the tyres come off, you can sell them to, say, a novice track day racer or something like that, because they'll be in a condition where that level of rider will be able to use them for the rest of the year. But you're selling them at a fraction of the price that you bought them for. So you were saying to me earlier that it's about two, three grand to even get on the grid. Uh, yeah, for three, bikes, right? about three and a half grand, yeah. So add on to that your tyres and your mechanics and your accommodation and your travel. What, what are we talking about? Oh God, you've got to add on crash damage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had a crash on this. So this year and last year, I've had a crash pre-season testing. Like you just, over winter you get overexcited and then you go out on, on cold tarmac like today and you go and lay it down. And on this bike, there's nothing cheap. The rear sets is over a 500 quid, because uh, I did them. The clip-ons, they're about two, 300 quid. Um, just, just this, just this is about 180 quid. Jesus. So it's straight away, just there's nothing cheap on it. So you've got to be talking a minimum, sort of five, six grand per race then? Uh, oh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I'm, really not, yeah, I'm just wondering, like, we, we, you know, I've been lucky enough today to meet some really awesome young riders, like 12, 13, 14 years old. And you think, how on earth, with that kind of financial outlay, mm. you know, if I had a kid who said, I want to go motorbike bike race, and I'd talk him out of it, because I ain't got that much dollar. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you want to support your kids. There's got to be a way of making it easier for people, hasn't it? Like a, a scholarship or something? Maybe? So obviously, uh, obviously you've got... You try, there, there's, there's series that are trying to be um, like cost effective. Like you get road stock, like at club level you get road stocks, uh, mini twins, CB500s. Um, the CB500 racing package generally pick up for about 1800 to two grand. Um, so there are stuff like that. They said when it comes to the, the kids stuff, there's a British um, mini, uh, British mini bike series, um, BMB. Yeah, that's uh, what the fellows at the top were saying. They started off in, yeah. Yeah, cool fab racing. We had um, a nine-year-old here on Wednesday, and he, he was in the novice group, and I had to move him up to Inters. I said, I'm really sorry, you're too quick. And his parents were like, he's only nine. It's like, he's lapped everybody oh, in I would the have a heart attack. He's got to go up. Jeez. But he was yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Do you not get nervous with seeing your youngsters out there? Um, or you've got that much confidence in them? Or yourself as a teacher, I guess. Well, <laughs> to, to be honest, my, my lad's got the racing excuses down already. He was, um, he, 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 uh, he had an off the other day and he's only three years old. Got up, dusted himself off, went, the wind took me. Oh, the wind, it was the wind. It's I don't know what I'm wind. more shocked about, the fact that he's that clever or the fact that he's three and he's on a bike. Yeah, it was, it was the wind. That was I was hilarious. falling off tricycles at that age. Do you know what I mean? That's just ridiculous. Yeah, so... How old were you when you started then? Uh, I didn't start until I was five. So, <laughs> so my kids have got a head start on me already. But yeah, I did uh, schoolboy motocross. Uh, I don't think, I wasn't very good at it. What about normal riding? Do you enjoy ride out? I mean, surely now it's a bit boring, like going from base jumping to trampolining. It's not the same, is it? <laughs> uh, I've got a road bike. I've got a, a Honda VTR now um, for the road. But when you go out on the road, you've got, you've got old, old women driving at 20 miles an hour. You've got farmers that have poured, you know, mud everywhere. Still feel so slow, though. You've That's got coppers like that. I'm like, I had, to, I had to stop riding on the road because I have to ride as fast as the bike can go <laughs> rather than the speed limit. But then it, it all happened. It's like it was one Sunday morning when I decided to make the switch. Um, I had my favourite set of corners, my favourite bit. I literally come across farm mud on the road, woman doing 20 miles an hour, uh, policeman with his gun. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's not even fun. And then I went and did... Um, a track day and it started from there really. There's a lot of hopeful youngsters out there that want to get into biking. Mm. What's your advice? How do you do it? 
Uh, yeah, so well, uh, from, from an early age, um, we take youngsters uh, as long as they've got proof of competency. So uh, our insurance just basically asks that we're not teaching them how to ride a motor bike from scratch. Uh, we do specific days like uh, Newcomers Day we've got tomorrow, the Specialist Bike Day which is small capacity, so we can actually nurture the young talent because there, there's obviously the mainstream circuits don't accept you until you're 18. Okay. Uh, which is, you know, quite quite old. It's really. a long time to wait when you're at it five, is. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we we take on them, but you know you've got the PUE 500s as well, which is dirt bike. Um, you can do that from, I think it's five or six. Uh, like that, that's the way I went. Uh, but if you want to do track, to give us a shout and we'll try and help out. Give us your website. Uh, www.loosecannontracks.com. Get involved, be brave. Absolutely. And well done for not being put off by the people in the background, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Desperately trying. Thank you much, to. mate. Much appreciated. Thank you, I'll get so you much. on the track later on and you can show us what you can do on these things. Brilliant. Awesome. Absolutely cracking. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> oh!